Hello. In this video, I'm going to summarize the reactions of lithium aluminum hydride with all of the carboxylic acid derivatives. This video is not really going to have a whole lot of explanation or mechanism. It's just going to be a, a summary of the reactions. And the overarching theme, of course, is that lithium aluminum hydride tends to reduce most of these most derivatives to the primary alcohol, although amides and nitriles are reduced to the amine. So here we go. Uh, oh, and let's let's do something different. So you know, acid chlorides uh, react with lithium aluminum hydride to form the primary alcohol and. And hydrides react with lithium aluminum hydride to form alcohols. And even mixed anhydrides react with lithium aluminum hydride and both one, two, three, alcohols that could form form. <clears throat> um, of course, carboxylic acids also uh, ooh, react with lithium aluminum hydride to make the primary alcohol. And esters react with lithium aluminum hydride to form primary alcohols. And again, because the alkoxy group of an ester comes off as a leaving group, you get two alcohols out of the ester reduction. And now, once we get into the world of amines, Amines are reduced by lithium aluminum hydride to make, I'm sorry, amides are reduced by lithium aluminum hydride to make amines. And that's true of amines where there are alkyl groups on the nitrogen, amines where there are hydrogens on the nitrogen. So lithium aluminum hydride just reduces amides to amines. And then finally, Lithium aluminum hydride reduces nitriles to primary amines as well. So this is it. Uh, only a couple of different functional groups that can come out of this. Alcohols for acid chlorides, anhydrides, carboxylic acids, and esters. Amines for amides and nitriles. This is my summary of the reactions of lithium aluminum hydride with carboxylic acid derivatives. Thank you for watching.